Let's take a look at the question on MCQ. Ali held the phone by the wire as shown in diagram 1. After a few seconds, the phone dropped to the ground as shown in diagram 2. Now, why did the phone fall? Now, in diagram 1, the phone did not fall because the forces are balanced. But what are the forces are acting on the phone? Now, the two main forces acting on the phone are the gravitation, gravitational force and the frictional force. And these two forces are equal. The frictional force must be equal to the gravitational force. That's why the forces are balanced and the phone do not move, right? Just remain stationary in its original position. In diagram two, however, the phone fall, which means that one force must be greater than the other force, right? Which means that the frictional force could be smaller than the gravitational force. And as such, there's an unbalanced force and the phone will fall in the direction of gravitational force. So let's take a look at the options. Option one, the weight of the phone acted against the gravitational force. Now the weight is the same as the gravitational force. They are the same thing, just different ways of saying the same thing. So how can the two forces that are the same be acting in different direction? It cannot make sense. So option one would be a wrong. Option two, the friction between the plug and the phone is less than the weight of the phone. Now, weight of the phone is the same as gravitational force. So the friction is smaller than the gravitational force of acting on the phone. That is why it falls down, right? It moves towards the direction of the greater force. In this case, the gravitational force. So this statement is a true statement. Let's take a look at option three. The weight of the phone is greater than the total weight of the phone and the plug. Now, the phone is just one item, and the phone and the plug are two items, right? And two items, and obviously, you will have a greater mass. How can the mass of one phone be greater than the mass of two items, that, I mean, one phone and a plug? So, I don't think this statement makes sense. So, it's going to be a wrong. The final option, the friction between the phone and the plug is greater than the weight of the phone. Right, the friction between phone and plug is greater than the weight of the phone, then the phone would have been falling. Right, the phone would have been falling down. If the, the, the frictional force is able to withstand, you know, it's going to be greater than the weight of the phone. Right, the phone will not fall. So, this statement is again a wrong statement. So, answer for this question will be option two.